Welcome everybody to Geek Dad Reports Comics You Crave. I'm Brian West. And I'm Ryan Tomlinson. And tonight we're going to be reviewing a comic book of, uh, of a story that I'm sure you've heard of, but you have not read the comic book, so you only yes. know part of the tale. We're talking about Stranger Things. I, I wish we one. could do this, the Stranger Things intro because it's like the greatest intro. Ever. I, know, I can't do it because I don't have like a synthesizer in my throat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, if you have not watched Stranger Things, spoiler alert, you're going to not like this comic book. <laughs> yeah, if you, right if, yeah, if you don't watch Stranger Things, don't read this comic. If and you do also, watch Stranger Things, go get you are Netflix going to enjoy it. And, yeah, and watch Stranger Things, like he said. Uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is, this is a, uh, Dark Horse comic, issue number one, so basically this is going to tell the tale of Will when he goes into the Upside Down. So in we, season one. Yeah, in season one, um, it ties in greatly to that, so we're gonna talk, greatly, pff, God, I've been watching too much of our illustrious leader. Uh, yes. it ties in very well <laughs> to season one, <laughs> and we're gonna talk all about that before we get into it, Ryan. Why don't you tell everybody who made this great comic book? <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly give you a break to uh, refresh yourself, Brian. It's, the like writer that. on this is uh, Jody Hauser. Um, Hauser! The, uh, what was that? I said Hauser! Hauser. And the penciler is Stefano Mar- Martino. Martino. Um, the ink is done by Keith Champagne. And the colors is Lauren um, Uffy. Afy? Sure. Okay. I don't know. But, <laughs> and the cover art is by Alexi Brixiot. I And for everyone that I screwed up your name, please tell me how to phonetically say it. And next time, I will make sure I get it right. So, yeah, whatever. But other than that, it's like Brian said, this is Will going into the Upside Down uh, in Season 1, so we get to see his perspective. On yes. It. It um, takes the, the comic takes place what till September twenty yeah it comes out it comes out in two weeks uh, September yeah. twenty sixth so uh, Tuesday a week from next Tuesday so you can check this out um, yeah. yeah this this takes place right if you're watching the first season when Will's playing D and D with his friends and then rides his bike away and mm-hmm. then he's never heard from again this pretty much takes place right after he's in the shed with the gun and he disappears. And now yes. we finally get to see it from Will's perspective in the Upside Down. So um, I'm not sure how many episodes or issues this is. I think it's a, a mini series, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen any definition on that. So, but I'm actually, you know what? It fit in really well. I was really impressed at how much it fit right into the first season. I will yeah. say I kind of wish the only thing that's kind of negative about this. I wish we would have gotten this before season two. Uh, we are so far past season one now that I had to kind of remember back when this took place. Yeah, that's that was my main issue too. Was I was just I kept getting um, season two mixed up. So like when they when he's talking, I'm I'm still yeah this, because this fresh stuff in my mind is season two. So I'm trying know, to if you yeah if you've that. already seen season two of Stranger Things, he's Will's been back forever and he's been part yeah. of the crew again. So yeah. it, upside down. Ooh. Yeah, it was a little weird trying to get back into the season one world of of, of Stranger Things. But I will say this combo fit perfectly. Uh, you know, there's the monster. And uh, one mm-hmm. of the things I did like about this is that the artwork felt very much like the TV show, so it felt very 80s. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was very 80s. It was um, a lot of dark tones. Yes. Um, kind of grittier. Yeah, I mean, it, not... it felt... I mean, I guess the best combo we can give this combo because it felt just like the TV show. Um, the characters sounded just like they did in the TV show. Um, you, f- you felt like this was an extension of the show. Which, yes. which all works. I mean, it looks like it, it sounds like it, and um, it's really cool. It's telling a story that I did not know that I'm actually kind of excited to read the whole thing. Yeah, and if they wouldn't be able to do this as its own like, uh, no. episode, like show or anything like that. So doing it as a comic book makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like but, there's but enough story like here to tell like a major a major. Ep- I mean, it, it might have been worth one episode in the original mm-hmm. series. This feels very much like stuff that got chopped on the cutting room floor that they wanted to tell and they put it into a comic book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like you said, though. It's, I enjoyed it, but my main issue is that season one happened. They've already done <laughs> two season two. Two years ago. <laughs> it, this, this, I mean, I'm going to still read it just because I love Stranger Things. Yes, but definitely. I'm going to have to rewatch season one 
just to get back into the mindset of season one. Well, the thing I um, the thing I am interested with this story is is there enough story here to justify a series? You know, I always kind of assume watching Will in the Upside Down that he just kind of ran around until he was rescued and did stuff. So, yeah. you know, I, I hope I, I did. I enjoyed this first issue, issue a lot and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one because, like I said, it fits into the Stranger Universe, Stranger Things universe. It feels very much at home there. Um, mm-hmm. But that being said, I don't know what he's going to do. So I really hope that they maybe have some twists and turns that we didn't expect that give the story a little more oomph than he's just running yeah. around trying to avoid the... Uh, the uh the what the hell was it demagoguing <laughs> the yeah. demagogue how long is he in there for like weeks I, I can't yeah remember. I don't I'm trying to that's what I'm saying it's been so long I really wish this so comic book would come out like, how did he starve like yeah the, this first <laughs> this this episode this uh, comic book would have been perfect to come out like two weeks after the launch of Stranger Things or mm-hmm. even after they knew it was a hit you know six months come out before season two came out. Um, yeah. I almost feel like I need to go back and watch rewatch season one to really get back yeah. into this comic book. But that being said, I don't want to trust the comic book. It's a really good comic book for what it is. The artwork is solid. The storytelling is great. Um, the characters are very much the Stranger Things universe characters. And, uh, you know, if you love Stranger Things like we do, I, I would recommend this series. I'm going to read the whole yeah. thing. I can't yeah. wait to check them all out. I'm going to, I'm, I'm right with you on there. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to read it. I'm a Stranger Things fan. Yes, definitely. Um, I, I think anyone that's a fan of the show should read the comic. It does give you uh, a new perspective. And to be honest, like, we're not getting Stranger Things Season 3 till next year, so you need something in your life that's Stranger Things to fill the void. Yeah. So I would recommend this comic book. It gives them plenty of time to get into Season 2. <laughs> yes, we can watch Season 1 and 2 again. Uh, so yeah. yeah, it's available. It's Dark Horse, uh, Dark Horse Comics. It comes out, like we said, September 26th. And I believe it's going to be, what, three ninety nine. Yes, that's right. the, the typical fire set. Yeah. So I'm going to say if you are a Stranger Things fan that you should just go out and buy this. Get it now. Yes. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, if you're a casual fan and you've never watched Stranger Things, well, then there's no point in reading this. But and go watch can, Stranger Things. Yeah, and get it on Dark Horse Digital if yeah. you like to read the comic digitally. There you go. Check it out now. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Until next time, everyone, stay awesome. And read more comics. Read all the comics. Yes. And see Stranger Things if you haven't. What are you doing with your life? It's so good. Why are you not watching it? Netflix has a two-week free trial. You'll blow through both seasons in two weeks, guaranteed. I got my in-laws to get hooked on the show. It's only like things. 14 episodes. Watch it. watch it. Stranger Things. And stay awesome, everybody. <laughs> I'm Ryan the Wise.